good afternoon guys uh, so this in this video uh, i have again uh, a very good question uh, which uh, came from gunjan uh, who is my subscriber and uh, this is what actually she has written that uh, hope you are doing well it would be great if you can provide me a solution for the attached sample exercise and the question is how can we identify the names of securities which have continuous declining price trend so thank you so much for your question uh, gunjan and it's indeed a very good question and this is what uh, exactly we have uh, in our excel file so what she wants to do is she wants to check uh, if we have a continuous drop from 2001 to you know 2002 and 3 4 5 6 and 7 right so the if you if you go through this item 1 uh, you see that i have 200 uh, now i don't know what numbers uh, i mean these numbers denotes to but that's the you know that really doesn't matter because what we actually want to do is we want to understand the question and then we want to uh, provide a solution to it right and uh, we will definitely go ahead and uh, uh, try to provide her a solution and at the same time i think uh, if we are going to do this this is going to be a great learning for you because i believe this can be done very easily uh, provided you should have a very good knowledge of excel especially arrays uh, so let me just uh, try to you know reinvent this question and uh, help you in understanding what the question says uh, so for item 1 if we have the entry here 200 and you see that here i have the increment 220 by 20 you know it is now going to be incremented it is being incremented here and then further we have a jump to triple 4 and then triple 6 and triple 7 so we want to identify those items where we have a continuous drop for example uh, in our case over here in item 4 uh we have 200 then 190 then 180 170 160 150 and 140 so nowhere here in this you know among all these years 2001 2002 2003 and so on till 2007 we are seeing any you know uh rise in the values right so everywhere we see that we are actually getting a drop right uh for example in this case we have 133 there is a fall of uh, you know of let's say i think um, 10 or 11 points and then it is 122 but then again we have a jump of 342 and then 332 again a fall so this is not something we are looking we are looking for these values right so i'm going to actually tell you a trick for this it's a wonderful trick and uh, in case if you have a knowledge of arrays then you would definitely be agree you know on with me on this point that this can be done so easily with the arrays in case if you are not aware what arrays are you know all about then i must tell you uh, there are you know arrays are the strongest uh, formulas in excel uh, which actually uh, many of the you know people who are very good in excel they don't know about it and it's quite actually sad uh, because i think that if you know the arrays you can be very very powerful in excel doesn't really matter whether you know vba or not right Uh, now again there is no comparison between excel front end and the vba vba is a very dynamic programming language and through vba you can do a lot of stuff but if you particularly talk about the front end excel then i i must tell you knowing uh, arrays itself is a you know great great boon uh, to your work because when you know the arrays you can really do a lot of wonders in excel and if you don't believe me if you don't exactly getting what i'm saying you can do one thing you can go to my website here and you can go and click on this tutorial excel training video tutorials and go and find out this uh, link uh super strong arrays so i have already uploaded 7 8 videos over here just go and watch these videos and you will come to know what i'm talking about so these are the something must and this is something which i even train uh, you know i give training on these arrays in my uh you know trainings online trainings you can go and check the content over here on the excel training and you'll see that uh course contents are here day on day and this is what we exactly you know teach right so uh anyways that's that's all about uh my training program uh but today actually i'm going to tell you now this um, you know this this problem let's find out let's try to find out the solution of this problem and this is where on the day 8 i actually discuss a uh, you know this on the array formula so it's a very very good uh, option a very very good technique you must know it so the idea is to 
we are actually going to compare the two sets different tables with each other of the same row for example what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array which would have these numbers I'm talking about the row number two the item one so this will have 200 then 220 and then you know triple four and then triple six and then triple seven and then triple nine and the second array would start from 220 220 and then let me just copy it now what we are ex exactly going to do is you know that all these elements belongs to item one right to this item row number two so we are going to do this comparison now it is very much you know understood it's quite obvious that if we want to see this a continuous fall in these numbers then obviously it would mean that the first element when I'm going to compare it with the second element right it has to be uh, bigger than that it it should be greater than the second element and similarly second element should be greater than third element and similarly third element should be greater than fourth and fourth value should be greater than fifth value and so on right so we are going to bifurcate we are going to create two arrays and then we are going to do this comparison so I will do this if this is greater than this and then I'm going to drag this formula so where I have all the cases as true then that would mean that you know we are actually getting a continuous fall like in this case right so if I if I simply just copy this let me show you and now I'm going to copy this you see that I'm getting all the values as true here so which means that this array is the one where we have a continuous fall now how you can actually uh, create the two arrays you know that's the now important question so this is quite simple actually what we want to do is let me uh, explain you this step by step so first of all we'll select this item uh, from this B2 till this G2 remember I'm not going to select the last one which is H2 because that is going to be compared with this cell which is called the G2 right so close the brackets and now press Control shift enter if you don't know what I'm talking about Control shift enter after watching this video go and watch my arrays videos there I have you know uh, in a very detailed manner I have actually uh, uh, you know discussed that how these arrays you know work so I'm going to press Control shift enter and you see here that I have got here 200 if I go here and I press F9 now in F9 I will have this table 200 220 triple four triple six triple seven triple nine this is what I was telling you in this you know by explaining you these uh, separately right so f9 guys it's a key uh, which you press when you press after equals to it will give you all the you know uh, content of the table which which is there right so just press escape and come back and now you'll see the 200 only 200 because of the fact that um, on this cell we can't have all the numbers displayed you know in one go but otherwise when you press F9 they are there right so now what we want to do is another array we would like to create and this time we'll start from the C2 and we'll take it to the H2 again I'll press Control shift enter and I can see here by pressing F9 that I've got here this 220 triple four triple six and so on right so we have created these two arrays and so the value of these arrays are like this and now we are going to compare them so f when you work on the arrays when you create two different different arrays in the same formula uh, you know first element of the first table is always going to be compared with the first element of the second table right you don't have to specifically tell arrays to do that right go and check that you just need to tell them what exactly you want whether you want some whether you want subtraction whether you want multiplication or if you want to do any you know uh, logical thing uh, that we are doing in this case then you just need to put the greater than or smaller than sign right so we have got these two arrays um, I can further uh, go ahead and I can do one thing for you I can just remove this equals to sign and from here I'll show F9 and then equals to sign so this is what you have got let me just show you before I start building the formula so this 200 is going to be compared with this 220 and this 220 is going to be compared with this triple four this triple four is going to be compared with 
triple six and so on right so if we got all the truth if we get all the truths in our answer then that means we have a table where you know we have every element the first element is greater than the second the second is going to be greater than third and so on so which would mean eventually that our you know that table is actually is declining in a regular way in, in a in a continuous form right in a regular form so let us now let me just cut this and paste it here now how are you going to do that it's quite simple start the bracket and take these two elements and now see that if this is going to be greater than or equals to this right and close this array now why I'm using the control equals to because you may have the same value again and again so obviously that would also mean that you know that is going to be a continue fall I mean that depends if you don't want to do that you can remove the equals to sign I'll just discuss that I'll just come come to that point a little later first of all press control shift enter and now let us see how the output goes so I'm going to press F9 now you have your false 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 true so the last value is f uh, true because of the fact that nine triple nine is greater than six five four. Otherwise, starting from two hundred, two hundred is not greater than two twenty. That's why you're getting here false. And the second false, this is because two twenty is not greater than triple four. And then the third is because triple four is not greater than triple six. And then again, you have the same thing, which is you know this triple six is not greater than triple seven. And triple seven is again not going to greater is not greater than triple nine, so that's why you're getting a false. But the last value is true because here triple nine is greater than six five four. You can see these two sets of you know arrays which I have uh, you know pasted here, so that you can reference to these things in case if you are not getting the things. So now press escape. Now I can drag this and this is how I'll see all the content here now why I'm getting here true uh, just you know as I said that this true false whatever the you are seeing on this cell this is because of the first comparison which is happening right but if you want to see all the comparison inside what is happening the table you know then you press F9 and you see all these things true false false now why I'm getting here for true because triple four is greater than double three but the next time when it is doing your comparison between double three and triple three this double three thirty three is not greater than triple three which means that it is actually a false right so this is how we have created this and let us click here f9 and see what we are getting here now this is the array this is the only array where i will see that you know all the values are true all the logical uh, the comparisons are true and it is quite clear because as I said in the beginning this is the only table where my you know values are diminishing right F for example here it is 200 which is greater than 190 and similarly 190 is greater than 180 180 is greater than 170 and so on right so now how do you actually uh, you know how, how will you conclude that if this array has true then that means this is exactly the array which is you know stepping down you know regularly in a continuous form because here also you see we have a true but the point is do we have the true in all the situation in all the you know comparisons let us press f9 and c now you know that the first element is true because 445 is greater than trip, uh, double six but 66 is not greater than 78 and we are getting a false now that does not mean that every time you know you come to these cells and press f9 to see that whether you have got all the things as true or false right so i'm going to tell you um, a function which is again a very very you know a powerful function which can decide that if there is a combination of if your logical things you know the logics which you have set up in the array if they all are true then this function is going to return the true and if either of those logics you know even even if one of the logics is false then it is going to return false as a output right so let me quickly come here and write here and so 
So write the AND and before I start the bracket open parenthesis you can see here it clearly says that this is the logic checks whether all arguments are true and return true if all the arguments are true. Arguments means the result which is there in your table. So if I will have all the logical you know arguments as true then this will return me the true. So I am going to start the bracket and I am going to close this bracket and control shift enter. So as expected this will return me false because of the fact that we have lot of falses here. And similarly in this true before I drag it I want to show you that we have actually got here many false like you know this is a false this is a false this is again a false this is again a false right so if I drag this and and I drag this to the last cell I see that all the conditions are going to be false and you know the reason because in these logical the logics which we have applied you know there were a couple of instances where we got the you know the first value greater than the short you know lesser than the second value so that's why we are getting the false but here everything was like in a sequence everything was you know the first element was greater than the second element and the second element was greater than the third element and the third element was you know greater than the fourth element and so on so that's why you know this is exactly the table where we having our regular fall right so now if I change this to 200 it will still remain as true because I have said here that this is has to be greater than equals to if I'm going to do this remove this equals to then you see that I will get this as false because this 200 is not greater than this 200 so if you are looking for a table where you have the criteria that if the if the two values are going to be same you know of the different years and that should not be counted as a you know a fall then definitely you would avoid using this equals to sign equals to sign right right now I'm putting it here because I want to uh, include this as a kind of you know a fall right I would like to take this as a fall because it has not incremented so for me it is actually a fall right but again that depends upon your scenario um, so that's how you can uh, check this out and maybe we can do here let's say let's try to do this right so I'm gonna write here let's say 9 and then here I'll write 2 now you can see here that this has changed to true. So that's how you can actually check in a table whether the numbers are you know uh, whether the numbers are decreasing step by step or if there is a kind of like you know you have a uh, somewhere you have a you know hump in the upward direction and somewhere you have it in the downward direction. So that's something you can very well you know uh, check by using this arrays formula right so uh, that's it for now i hope you like this video so don't forget to you know hit on the click uh, hit on this uh, like and uh, at the same time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is the video number 120 which we have uploaded so watch out for all the you know all the videos uh, on this Excel and uh, let me tell you one more thing if you go to my this YouTube channel there you will see all the playlists created like this is the playlist which I have created on the VLOOKUP so you have a lot of videos on the VLOOKUP similarly the other videos are also there just you need to click on the playlist and it will show you all the categories right thank you so much and have a good day bye bye